only cure I know for the Monday blues is Varsity Blues. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Popcorn, anyone? Yes, please. Thank you. Anyone else? No. Hey, Kelly, my stuff just got here. <laughs> Kelly really likes to online shop. So I felt like I wanted some new clothes. I mean, I just, I wanted to, it just, I felt like it was time to maybe um, just get new clothes. Okay. <gasps> I love it. Really? I don't know. No, you haven't even tried it on yet. Try it on. Not at work. I'll try it on. Fashion show! Fashion show! Fashion show at lunch! No. Fashion show! Fashion show! Fashion show at lunch! Fashion show! Fashion show! Fashion show at lunch! Wow. It's so sexy. You look so hot. It's really something. It's too much. What? I'm Are gonna you... return it. No, you have to keep it today. Just see how you feel. Hey. Hi. You, you look nice. Thanks. Isn't that like your third soda today? Still in love with the head surgeon, uh, the McDreamy guy, and she starts uh -huh. crying. But the dorky doctor, he's in love with her. Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Uh, sure, I'll get him for you. It's Jan for you. Really? Yeah. I may have, a few weeks ago, faked a call from Jan in order to get out of a synopsis of, I think it was, Navy and CIS. Since then, Michael's been suspicious. come to my art show. I invited all of you. That really sucked. It's like sometimes some of you act like I don't even exist. Jim, I called off my wedding because of you. And now we're not even friends. And things are just like weird between us and that sucks. Hey Pam, I've been meaning to say something to you. I really miss our friendship. <laughs> ah, that's very funny. I've never heard you talk that much. I thought it was Kelly. Are you kidding? I would never have done that. It was pathetic, though. No, that's Pam. Well, if Michael gets a job, I will be so upset because Dwight used to have a crush on me, so if he's boss, it'll be really awkward. Mm -hmm. But if Jim gets it, you should be happy because you have a crush on him and he totally doesn't feel the same way, and then he'll be gone. Yeah, well, you know, whatever happens. Oh. Pam, he's just not that into you. Oh, I know. We talked about it and he told me. No, seriously, Pam, wake up. Okay. Kelly made me realize something. She and I have nothing in common. And I need more friends. Game, son. All right, let's run it back. The warehouse got a ping pong table last week. Now Jim comes down and plays with Daryl. Sometimes I bring him juice. My boyfriend is 12. What has two skinny chicken legs and sucks at ping pong? Hi, Kelly. Guess whose boyfriend it is. I don't want to guess. I'll give you a hint. It's not my boyfriend. I think it's a guy over here. I don't talk trash. I talk smack. They're totally different. Trash talk is all hypothetical. Like, your mom is so fat she could eat the internet. But smack talk is happening, like, right now. Like, you're ugly and I know it for a fact, because I got the evidence right there. Jim, can I see you for a second? Sure. Wow. Okay, it's not regulation size, but it'll do. You have to practice. You have to get really good and beat Daryl. Oh, I can't beat Daryl. Please, Kelly's trash talking me because Daryl's beating you. What? Seriously, what is she saying? Your boyfriend is so weak, he needs Dara is just to watch baseball. Jim couldn't hit a ping pong ball if it was the size of the moon. Were Jim's parents first cousins that were also bad at ping pong? So you're asking me to defend your honor against Kelly? Sorta, of, yes. Bring me players. Okay. Hey, Kevin. Jim needs to see you. 
About what? He needs help uh, balancing some travel receipts. Are you sure he wants me? Because I have Oscar balance my travel receipts. Yeah, no, he asked for you specifically. He's in the conference room. Oh, awesome! Good game, Meredith. Don't patronize me. All right, what is going on here? Dwight, thank God you're here. As it turns out, one of our biggest clients is a ping pong master. And I have to play him tomorrow or we lose the account. Can you help me out? Will you help me practice? What the hell? I told you. All of my heroes are table tennis players. Zoran Primorach, Jan Ovi Wagner, Wang Tao, George Rushkoff, and of course, Ashraf Helmi. I even have a life-size poster of Hugo Hoyam on my wall. And the first time I left Pennsylvania was to go to the Hall of Fame induction ceremony of Andre Gruba. How's it going? Well, he has gone from completely hopeless to simply miserable. Check this out, though. Spin serve. Well, it works like 80% of the time, so. Nice. So, should I schedule the rematch with Daryl now? I think I'm ready. I'll make the call. Wait a minute. Daryl is the client? No, no, no. He works here, dumbass. Right. Spencer. Way to go, see that? Yeah, the floppy haired girl you did want a point. 19, seven, four. Woo! Nice, baby! Nice one! Hey, hey, you, you, I don't like your boyfriend, cuz, 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 cuz he's six of ping you know pong. What? I'm sick of this. Let's go, you and me. What? Let's go. Pick up a paddle. Okay, bring it on. I am. You think you can handle this? In my sleep. Okay. Volley for serve. P. O. P. O. Do you want to go play on the table upstairs? O. Yes. P. Um, yeah, I slept over at a uh, friend's house and I forgot my contact solution, so I had to wear my backup glasses. Shut up. All right, everybody. Oh, my God, Pam. Those make you look so ugly. Um, Pam, in order to get hotter, you take glasses off. You're moving in the wrong direction. I don't have my uh, contacts. That's bad. Melanie, I can't even hear you. It's just noise coming out of an ugly scientist. <laughs> um, everybody, energize. You know what energized me? If you, Pamela Morgan Beasley, don't, don't would take... If you propose to me during a micro meeting, I will say no. Well, it's too late because I'm proposing that you get me a cup of coffee, which would energize me greatly and make me the happiest man in the world. Everybody, so how are we going to energize our office? I mean, I haven't done anything since Christmas. Pam clearly has just given up trying. A lot of jazz cats are blind but they can play the piano like nobody's business. I'd like to put the piano in front of Pam without her glasses and see what happens. I'd also like to see her topless. Hey, Pam. I really like your glasses. Oh, thanks. All the girlfriends that I've ever had have worn glasses. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a turn on for me, actually. I should probably like get back librarians. to- librarians. Entering the- Could you just say, these are due back Thursday. No. Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Okay, go ahead. 
You know, just lay him in his crib mm -hmm. and then bicycle his legs. And then after Jim quiets down, you do the same thing with your baby. <laughs> <laughs> but if he keeps having problems, just give me a call. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. But seriously, we don't want to bother you any more than we already have. That's it. Still bother you guys are our friends. Robbie, our amazing pediatrician, was asking us if we knew any girls, and I said, I know the perfect girl. Yep, because Kelly is Indian. And, oh, that's it. Race had nothing to do with it. I just knew they'd be good together. Oh, Kelly hi. has been a handful in the past, but she's had a bad influence. She's like an addict, and I just had to get her clean. Get lower. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, little tip. Um, never shake the baby. Sorry, just to be clear, you're saying do not shake the baby. Don't shake the baby. Um, a lot of times parents get frustrated because the baby's crying and they shake the baby and you gotta, um, you can't do that. Don't shake our baby. Yeah. Okay. I'd never heard that before. So oh thank God. you. Yeah, I'm glad you said something. <laughs> Me too. Kelly and I broke up and she can do whatever she wants. And her new boyfriend seems awesome if you're into Indian people. I'm not. Hey, um, what's the deal with this guy? He's really into Kelly, huh? Yeah, they're really great together. Maybe we weren't right together, but it's weird. I'd rather she be alone than with somebody. Is that love? Oh, we took this one right before we got in that huge fight. God, I don't even remember what that fight was about. You were being really bratty about where we would go out to dinner, but all I remember is how pretty you looked taking those pictures of me. Anyway, if you want to order prints of your own, I can send you the link. I am in love with Kelly Kapoor. And I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow or the next day or the day after that, but I do know that right here, right now, all I can think about is spending the rest of my life with her. Again, that could change. I am not going to let Kelly throw her life away on Ryan. And it has nothing to do with access to my pediatrician. Why you would even ask, or we're going to ask, because I, I feel like that question was coming. I saw you were getting along with Ryan again. He's so sweet. He pointed to my latte and he said, Kelly, that will be the color of our children. Yeah, he's so great. Remember how it felt when he cheated on you, though? Which time? I have to be kidding me. Hey, right now. Yeah. I hear you've been bad-mouthing me to Kelly. All I did was remind her that you used to treat her badly. Well, that's your opinion, and it's her opinion, but it's not my opinion. If you have something bad to say to me, Pam, say it in my face. Fair enough. Um, I don't think you're a very good person. And forgive me, but I feel like I've said this to you before. I don't like you very much. Well, a lot of people would say that I'm a better match for Kelly than Ravi is. Oh, come on, Ryan. Really? Ravi's way better. For Kelly? Yeah, man, you're insane right now. Ravi's the whole package. I've never met Ravi personally, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, just having knowing you a short while, Brian, that I prefer Ravi. And again, I've never even met the guy. Kelly, I wrote you the most amazing love poem, but I can't even read it. My heart couldn't handle it. Oh, Come no, on. no, no, read it, please. I love amazing poetry. No, it would cause me too much pain. Read through the pain, be strong. This poem would crush you. Oh my God, Ryan, go away, she found herself a beautiful boyfriend. Yeah, man, he's absolutely gorgeous. Please leave her alone. You see, Kelly, our love scares them. It screws up their cookie cutter world. Ravi makes me incredibly happy. And Ryan puts me through so much drama. So I guess I just have to decide which of those is more important to me. Oh. Boo! Holy crap. Boo! What an idiot. Oh, oh, you, you are toxic. Boo! You are toxic. Hey, hey, hey. Kelly. Okay. I have a few things to say to you. And please don't interrupt. I wasn't going to interrupt. Yeah, but you do a lot, so just don't. Thank you. I know that I haven't always treated you the way that you, for whatever reason, feel you deserve to be treated. But I want to marry you, Kelly Kapoor. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday, and probably. Barf! Oh, you oh, suck! Oh, what okay. is your problem? Hey, 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 can we turn this back around quickly, please? Can we turn this around quickly? This is very important to me. Turn around, turn around. Can we turn this thing around, please? Thank you. She don't want to turn, turn around. around. Thank you. Kelly, I can't promise you that we'll always stay together, 
I can't promise you that I'll never cheat on you, nor should I. Modern marriages aren't built that way. Men aren't built that way. There's a very interesting article I can email to you. But I can tell you this, even if the odds are 50-50 that we'll break up within the week, I want to roll those dice. I love you, Kelly. Ryan. Will you roll those dice with me? You mean so much to me. But I love Ravi and I choose him. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. I hope we can still be friends. Can I have a hug? Mm -hmm. Oh. Ew. Oh, it's good to see Kelly's been sure. Oh, God. You're not the least bit curious to hear a poem straight from Ryan's soul. Not at all. Can we go? Kapoor and Kadesperate, he watches. Second line. He is a drifter out to sea. And when the Indian Ocean calms, one speck of white remains in waters cold and Kelly green. It's just so dumb. But when he describes himself as a child lost on a light raft. Ah, Ryan can never know. <laughs>